I'm delighted to welcome Jack Byrne, Shamrock Rovers and Ireland International. Thank you, Jack, for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. The purpose of today's conversation really is to explore the area of resilience and confidence in order to help young people, I guess, to take the next step in their own journeys, their own personal journeys. To my mind, resilience and confidence, they're kind of intangibles, aren't they? It's hard to explain exactly what it me you mean when you talk about the two issues. But I think you, you've probably experienced it in your own career, and I'm sure every professional footballer at some point in their career has had to dig deep to find that resilience, to stick with something. Are there any particular incidences in your own experience or your own past that you can draw upon or maybe explain how you overcame some of those challenges for us? Uh, plenty of times, um, you know, I think from the time I was, you know, 11, 12, toward then, um, in this country, a lot of people would have tipped me to, you know, be one of the next best things coming out of the country. And, you know, my road to, you know, me first international cap say hasn't been straightforward. It hasn't been just plain sailing. I've had plenty of knockbacks. Um, you know, I had a really good, you know, time at Man City and obviously going on loan and playing in new Champions Leagues for Man City and doing really well. And then having the disappointments of, of going on loan in England and, you know, having people maybe say he can't play in England, he's he, he's not ready, he's not he, he might not be physically capable. So you know you have to you have to listen to all these things and and uh, you know build the resilience to it because um, you can't let that affect your your state of mind and you always have to believe in yourself and believe that you are good enough and you, you can do it. And um, look, my my rise to you know my first international debut hasn't been the way I thought it would have went and um, certainly was it was a tough road and I had plenty of knockbacks and. You know, I just think I just had to carry on with the setbacks and um, you never know when the door is going to open for you and probably certainly didn't think that it would have opened the way it did. And it certainly opened for you, Jack, in the, in the last couple of years. I guess there's probably a perception and a misperception, I should add, that Jack Byrne, international footballer now, world-renowned, household name, great time at Man City. Um, you know, and, and huge success on the domestic scene. There's probably an expectation that you haven't had to come up against adversity in your career. And you know, we all look at professional sports people and we say, um, you know, haven't they got a great lifestyle? Aren't they doing something they love? But you know, for you, you've mentioned Man City there particularly. That was probably a difficult time where you've gone from being, you know, the star of the, the, the team to maybe not knowing where to go next. And at a relatively young age, what are the kind of things you, you draw upon in that situation? How do you pick yourself up and, as we said earlier, dust yourself down and go again? Yeah, you know, it's obviously difficult. Um, when I signed for Man City, I was obviously probably one of the better players in, in the country. Um, I was leaving Ireland, obviously, at that time. There was a lot of talk about me back here. And um, when I went over there, we had just signed the lad from, from Real Madrid for five million. And, you know, he was probably a lot better than me. And I was going into a dressing room where it was different. And I wasn't the best player and I wasn't guaranteed to start every game. And, you know, it's it's um, it's one of those things where you have to you have to try and just better yourself every day and just think. Listen, I'm, I'm training with the best players in the world here, and you know, if if, if it was going to be easy, um, I wouldn't be, you know, at one of the top clubs in the world. I, I, I would just stay in Ireland and and, and have an easy ride. Um, so look, it's a challenge that I took on when I was younger, and you know, I think it's it, it benefited me. Um, you know, in the long run, because I think I improved so much when I was younger. Even though I might not have been the star of the show every week, but just plugging away at it every day and training against the best players in the world, I think uh, really stood in my favour. I think for a lot of young people as well, there's obviously that fear of failure all the time hanging around them, and as they're starting out in their career, as they're building their own careers, as they're trying to find their way in the world, there's always that fear of failure and it being around the corner. And, and, and unfortunately for them. In many instances, for all of us, you know, failure is a part of life. How do you deal with that in that situation? How do you, you know, how do you position yourself against it? How do you develop a support network around yourself in order to, to make sure that you come through those periods? Yeah, it is difficult when you get knocks, um, and it's only, you know, later in life that sometimes you learn how to deal with them a little bit better. But you know, I, I try not to get too down when, when when I had failures because I had plenty of them when I was younger. You now even just stuff where you're not in the team or. Sometimes when I was at a club and you know a man new manager comes in and he thinks you know you're just not for me and it's not to say you're not the same player you were a month ago when the old manager was there and you were playing every week so it's just one of those things where 
you have to you have to be confident in yourself and you have to believe that you know if you keep doing the right things and 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 you keep you keep um, practicing and you can look at yourself in the mirror and say well I'm doing the right things and you know if someone doesn't fancy me somebody else will I think that was so important for me because you know in football and uh, and life um, but especially in football it's a game of opinions and everyone's opinion will be different and um, once your opinion of yourself is is strong and you and you believe in what you're doing, I think that's probably the most important thing. My name is Jack Bourne and I play for Shamrock Rovers and Republic of Ireland. These are my top tips for building your confidence and resilience. My top tips are to play to your strengths, to always be prepared and to set realistic goals. Building resilience and developing your self-confidence will help you get ready for the new world of work. Check out youthempowered.ie for free online training today.